All right, folks, I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on the Ozark Trail North Fork wall tent. It is a 12 by 10 and currently is in my garage drying out from the last camping trip. It was snowing when we put it away. Um, it has a stove jack, which easily zips open. If you want to put a wood stove in here, I chose not to. Um, which you can see how easily this zips down. Do the same thing on the other side. Zip it down. And bam, you have a stove jack. Um, I chose not to go with the wood burning stove in here because I didn't want to carry that. Uh, instead, I know this kind of sounds ironic. Instead, I chose to go with a generator and electric heater. Um, it works nice. It's got a, uh, this tent has three nice windows. Uh, screened in windows. They're easy zip down. Bam, you can see all my junk on the workbench from my last hunting trip. Uh, they all zip down. Roll up if you want to. They got a cinch cord. Um, doing this actually brings me to the one thing I don't like about it. And that would be that there are no end supports for the walls on the ends. So like this has a side support there. There's nothing for the ends. I don't like that. I kind of get it on the door end, but I don't know, it just lacks structure right there. Um, overall, I like this tent though. It can be put up by one person in about oh, 25 minutes to 20, 25, 40 minutes. So not quite an hour. Um, one person can put this up by themselves. I've done it a couple times now. Um, something I did get to go with the tent are these little ceiling fans. They are ran off a of USB. You can see the connection right there. Uh, and I also got an extension cord and just, yeah, whatever. Run it off of USB ports. But they got little switches. Get the sucker in view for you. There you go. Just little switches. Oh, I unplugged the cord, so it's it's not going to work right now. But got two of them for in here. I actually have a third also um, for summer camping. For winter camping, I figured out after I got this home to dry it out, you can turn these blades upside down and it'll blow the air down along the ceiling of the tent um i think they're not very expensive on amazon and they just it's, a, it's like they're almost made for it they just clip right over the top support of the tent um it is pretty nice in the fact that it has fully adjustable tensioning uh this thing won't focus for me so you got three holes here you can tension that out Got the same thing right here and the same thing right here. And that's all in one corner up to six inches of adjustment probably just in one corner. And then every side post has it and roof post. Um, I did notice that one of my poles, the length is a little bit long on it compared to the rest. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. It doesn't seem to make a difference. But overall, I really like it. We can fit, whenever me and my family go camping, we do a queen size cot like right here. One of our boys single cots right here. And then another boys single cot like right here. And then we still have room for the dog. She uh, stays in a kennel when we're tent camping. And then essentially this whole corner is open. Uh, which is nice. I bring like a TV tray along and set it here and we can set stuff there. There's also these nice pouches, which I have out here. 
these nice pouches come with it and it does come with LED lights so I guess that brings me to another thing I didn't like these packs unclip from the lights but see if I can get this to focus here they're not USB connections so you can't use a USB battery pack but I will say I think it has let me check here three triple A's in there yeah three triple A's and I've used that for three times camping in it now and sometimes when we we're camping with the kids it would be on all night and I haven't changed the batteries yet so you get a lot of life out of the three triple A's it just I wish it was a rechargeable battery pack instead of the uh, actual batteries but you get these two nice pouches here they just clip right over the rail on the tent frame and hang on the wall sides and there's also the pouch I actually have the lights in is a pouch to hold your controller so you hang that at the end and uh, turn your lights on when you go in and out it has nice guy lines with a drip edge that's nice it keeps the water away from the bottom of the tent and the sides of the tent if it's really raining out it does have these nice vents up top which are I wish you could close them off it says they're adjustable but I can't figure out how to keep them shut for winter camping for summer camping it's really nice to have that suck some extra airflow in and suck some of the moisture out but overall I like this um, there was another downside when I first got it was the uh, uh, the welds on these on this frame so like on these corner pieces here and I'll show you when I'm taking it down and I'm just about to take it down so I'll make sure to uh, get a video clip of them welds there overall I like it it's a nice big tent you got plenty of uh, ceiling height here I mean I am going like this and the only thing I have to dodge is my lantern I can just touch the top of the peak and I am six foot one so overall pretty nice I recommend it it's definitely an introduction to a wall tent I've been wanting a wall tent and it does also have a floor that just velcros in um, currently that's wadded in a ball and needs dried yet so maybe when I get it laid out I'll show you but there it is and it simply just velcros in and then there's these uh, clip attachments for it right here and that's all that's to that the doors do clip back via these clips here you can clip them open so you got a nice wide entryway you can do sorry this is going to be a rough video but you can do just the door hold it back it's got a clip on the inside for that and you just clip it right up there overall love the tent uh, it's nice thick material. I think that'll hold up well. The one thing I'm worried about are the structurally. Um, it's held up in some pretty nasty weather for us so far. So hopefully it'll continue to do so. Um, like I said, when I tear it down, I'll have another clip for you of these welds and uh, what I would do if I had to go back through before ever using it and uh, prevent issues. Here it is, bare bones, folks. And you can kind of see everything's color coded and I'll push to connect fittings with the little buttons that you push in. If you can see right here, I took and JB welded these corner supports. The stuff's almost too thin to, uh, to actually weld with a welder. Um, but when I got it, let's see if I can find one that I didn't do here. 
so these are the factory welds if I can get that to focus in a little bit better there we go these are the factory welds see if it'll focus in up close for me there we go and those actually don't look too bad but I actually had one break on me right away and it was a corner one and I'm sure it's from put taking it down and putting it up but when I went to uh, sand it down to make it a clear clean uh, bond with the JB weld the weld just flaked away so that's something I would recommend doing to all these and that's what I'm gonna do this off season just a little JB weld it's not the prettiest thing in the world but I could sand that down and make it even, look even nicer than it does if I wanted to but uh for an extra five bucks you could probably do this whole tent and all the connections just for some uh JB weld quickie weld it worked pretty good and I'd, I'd recommend it um, but if it were me I'd probably go do that to all of them before you even use the tent as you just kind of take a look at some of these connections here where they're welded that would be my my biggest gripe um, I could have returned it but they didn't know when it would be back in stock they were willing to give me a full refund and I'm like I kind of bought this for hunting season and well didn't use it till September 1st but uh overall I love this tent it's been really well um in cold weather camping I would highly recommend using something that uh produces a dry heat like a wood stove or in my case I went with that oil heater and uh that would have kept it drier inside I my brother brought a uh, buddy heater that heated the tent really well but there was tons of condensation in it which is why I had to part of the reason I had to set it up in here and let it dry um the other part was it was snowing when we took it down so overall love the tent love the size love the height um just for reference here I can clear all but about a foot of these runners with my head six foot one so thanks for watching my squirrely video hopefully this does you all some good um, that floor does have a zip out for the fire stove included with it it does have a zip out in the floor if you want to put a wood burning stove in it so hopefully this helps somebody out as to whether to decide to get this tent or not like i said i think it's a good introduction at a decent price uh, just a few things i would do to save yourself a headache or heartache on a camping trip and the major one being that JB Weld right there. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, tune in to the next uh, video. I'll be having a uh, another review type video come out here soon. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.